Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, September 9th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. The Aiken County Sheriff's Office is searching for a woman who was reported missing September 4th in Savannah Portage State Park. The 23-year-old woman is autistic and diabetic. Her family said they last saw her when they went out fishing and left her on the dock alone. The family said they witnessed her get up and run away at about noon. The family then started to search on their own and eventually notified State Park staff, who requested the assistance of the sheriff's office. She is 5 feet tall and has dark brown hair. She was last seen wearing a rainbow tie-dye shirt, gym shorts, black shoes, and black headphones. Anyone with information on her whereabouts should contact the Aiken County Sheriff's Office at 218-927-7435. A redevelopment project is percolating for the large and vacant former Camping World site on Highway 371 in Baxter. The City Council approved a traffic study for a proposed redevelopment project. The development would have impacts to surrounding roadways. Camping World closed in 2023, and the building has been vacant ever since. Find out more on the issue and managing editor Renee Richardson's story in Saturday's paper or at BrainerdDispatch.com. The proposed preliminary property tax levy in Baxter for 2025 is a nearly 7% increase over this year. City Council members met for a work session last week and looked at places to cut the budget. Costs to keep in mind include increasing personnel contracts, fire contracts, and software equipment. The preliminary levy must be set by the end of September. The council may meet in another workshop session or could schedule a special meeting later this month to discuss it further. Renee Richardson has the full story in Saturday's Dispatch and online. A dry and warm fall could give way to an abrupt change to winter if the dominant outlook for the season plays out. The National Weather Service provided a preliminary fall and winter outlook last Friday. So far, odds are tilted in favor of a warmer-than-normal fall and colder-than-average winter temperatures with above-average snowfall. Read more on the weather predictions in today's e-edition or at BrainerdDispatch.com. Plans for a pedestrian bridge across Highway 210 near Lum Park are on hold. Brainerd City Council members voted last week to stop moving forward with the project, after learning the timeline would not align with a MnDOT grant the city was recently offered. The grant funds were contingent on the city being able to award the construction bid for the project by the end of 2025. With that timeline, the council would have to begin design and development this month. The project is estimated at about $6 million, and the council does not yet know where a majority of the funding would come from. For that reason, they agreed to put it on hold for the time being and explore other funding opportunities should they arise. I've got the full story in today's e-edition and online. A skate park could begin taking shape in Brainerd as early as 2026. With almost $100,000 in hand, the Lakes Area Skate Park Association hopes to secure a grant and further funding to reach their $1 million goal in the near future. They aim to break ground on a skate park in Memorial Park in 2026. The latest upcoming fundraiser to help the goal is a ride-a-thon scheduled for October 5th at Baxter Elementary. There are also hopes for a grant of up to $500,000 from the Minnesota Skate Park Matching Grant Program. Read more on the project in my story in Saturday's paper or at BrainerdDispatch.com. After a request from the Brainerd City Council to take over ownership of the Brainerd Lakes Regional Airport, Crow Wing County officials say they do not want to do so. Council members voted in May to form a work group with county officials to discuss future ownership options. The discussion comes after council members have expressed frustration in Brainerd residents being taxed twice for the airport, which serves the whole region. County officials do not want to assume full ownership, 
but council members still hope to discuss the tax levy and other airport operations. I've got the full story in Saturday's Dispatch and online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that today marks the third anniversary of the sailing of the 194th Tank Battalion for the Philippines, under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Ernest Miller. In February 1936, the 34th Tank Company was formed, with then-Captain Miller in command. A photo in today's dispatch shows the current officers, all now in a prison camp in Japan. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Here's the forecast for the Brainerd Lakes area this Monday. A mainly sunny day is on tap to kick off the work week in Lakes Country, with highs this afternoon reaching into the lower 80s. A bit more sunshine would allow temperatures to climb even a little higher. We're partly cloudy tonight then, with the lows cooling only into the lower 60s, before we see just a few more clouds on Tuesday. A stray sprinkle off to the west is not out of the question, but we largely stay dry. The warm and dry trend then continues through the rest of the work week. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Daly. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.